Joining us now, former federal prosecutor and MSNBC legal analyst Paul Butler. Um, Paul, time is uh, diminishing. What do you expect is going to happen between now and Monday? You know, we have no way of knowing. Trump, if you listen carefully, isn't really saying there's no way he can come up with the money. What he's saying is if he has to spend all of that money and use some of his assets, he's not going to be able to operate his businesses as he usually is. So at the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump finds a way to post this bond on Monday. Katie, this isn't really a hard legal problem. It's a hard legal problem when people like Alex Jones and Rudy Giuliani owe plaintiffs millions and millions of dollars, and they just don't have the money. Trump has the money. He may not have the money in terms of liquid assets now to put up on bond, but even then, the law has a remedy. The remedy is that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, can seize his properties, and she's indicated she's perfectly willing to do that. Trump's team says that coming up with this sort of bond is unheard of, that it's, it's practically impossible. It doesn't happen. Letitia James has said it does happen. It's actually pretty routine. Is it? <laughs> well, there are not a whole lot of billionaires who find themselves in the position that Trump has, but there certainly have been organizations, corporations that have been liable for billions of dollars. They want to appeal that judgment, and so they have to post bond. Guess what? They find a way to post it. So it's not like these insurance companies just can't afford uh, to put up the money for Donald Trump. They're reluctant to for obvious reasons. Trump is a credit risk. He sometimes does not pay people back when he owes them money, and that's just too much of a risk for some of these companies. I'm wondering where he might go to get that money, what options there might be out there. He was asked on Fox News, or I'm sorry, Alina Haba was asked on Fox News about whether they might turn to a foreign entity, a foreign, um, not government, but a foreign person. Let's listen. Is there any effort on the part of your team to secure this money through another country, Saudi Arabia or Russia, as Joy Behar seems to think? Well, there's rules and regulations that are public. I can't speak about strategy that require certain things, and we have to follow those rules. Country. Um, what are the rules and regulations? Okay, so there are not a whole lot. If Trump can come up with this money, if he gets it from a foreign interest, there might be reporting requirements, there's, but there's nothing to bar him from getting it from somebody, including Jared and Ivanka. They might be able to help him out. But what Letitia James has suggested is if no one bond company is willing to loan you 500 plus million dollars. And maybe you could cobble together a few bond companies to each give you part of that uh, amount of money. And Letitia James has also suggested that Trump be able to put up some of his properties as collateral with the court. Uh, so the court would be responsible for making sure that nothing happened uh, in, uh, with these um, properties while this case is pending. All right. We will wait and see. Obviously, if he goes to a foreign entity and gets that sort of cash, we, we'd be firmly back to where we were in 2016, talking about whether he was um, beholden to a foreign entity. That's why everyone wanted to see his taxes in 2016, which, by the way, we still have not seen. Uh, Paul Butler. Paul, thank you very much.